Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm talking all about chroma keying and how you can use this in your videos. So let's get into it. Chroma key is basically the process of removing a specific color from a frame and revealing a layer behind that video. Let me show you a quick example. So let's say we've got video playing and we've just done some chroma key on that. So this is our footage here and this is the section that we've just done color keying on. So basically color keying is going to remove this part of the video. It's going to create a hole in the video. And this means that we can kind of look through this video layer, kind of like a window and reveal a layer underneath this one. And we can put anything we like behind this layer. This is our second video layer and this is underneath this top layer. So if we use chroma key, we can reveal that this blue is underneath this chroma keyed layer. Make sense? Now chroma keying uses green screens and blue screens to remove those colors and we'll typically see these green and blue screens on the news and the weather. So why do we use green and blue when we're doing chroma key? Well, it's because we're pulling a specific color out of the video and green and blue is the furthest away from skin tone. If we were to use a red or an orange screen, for example, parts of the skin will start to disappear and bleed through that top video layer and you'll start to see the layer behind that video layer on the skin and the body. And this just looks really unprofessional. So now that we know what chroma keying is and how it's used, how can we use chroma keying in our videos? Well, firstly, we need a green screen. So now that we have our green screen, we just need to correctly light this. So I'm just gonna pull this light over here. Now my biggest tip to you when you're chroma keying is to evenly light the green screen. If the green screen is too bright on this side and it's too dark on this side, then when you pull a color from the green screen, it's just not going to work correctly. So make sure that you've evenly lit your green screen. Now my second tip when you're doing green screen is to pull up your shutter. Typically, if you're filming a video in 24 frames per second, then you need to double your shutter speed. So it needs to be one over 48 of a second. However, when you're doing green screen, one over 48 can cause motion blur. As you'll see, if I was to freeze frame this hand right now, it looks blurry and you're not going to be able to pull a clean key from that. And this is where you sometimes see a green outline on people on the news. So I'm just going to pull up my shutter speed to 1 over 96. So now that we've upped our shutter speed to 1 over 96, this means that our movement is going to be a lot sharper. And this means that when we pull the green from the shot, all parts of this green screen will disappear. And that's what we need to create a perfect key. Now we need to make sure that we're not casting any shadows onto our green screen. So if I go back here, you'll notice that there is a sharp shadow over here. This means that when I try and pull the green screen over here, this will not disappear. There's still going to be a shadow floating around in the back of the shot. So to counteract this, you just want to go forward a little bit from your green screen. You want to light the green screen separately and then you want to light your talent separately. Doing this will ensure that there's no shadows cast onto your green screen. So once you've set up your lights and your green screen correctly and you've dialed in all of the correct settings on your camera, you can now go and film. Once you've captured your video, you need to get this onto the computer. So I'm just going to drag this into Adobe Premiere Pro and we're just going to go through the process of using the color key to remove these colors. So once we have loaded up our video editor of choice and in this example that is Adobe Premiere Pro, we just need to begin by importing our footage. Now you'll notice that when we're looking at this footage, it looks really gray and really flat and there's no way we're going to be able to pull a clean key from this. So we're just going to go through and we're just going to do a really basic color correction to begin with. So I'm going to use Lumetri Color to add a lot on top of this footage. I'm going to add Fast Color Corrector to pull up the saturation. And then I'm just going to use Levels just to adjust the brightness of this footage. Now once we're happy with the colors, we can go through and we can remove the green from this shot. So to do this, we want to go over to the Effects tab and we want to search for Color Key. Now this is spelt the American way, so if you're searching for color with a U in it, it won't show up. So make sure you search for color without the U, so that's C-O-L-O-R Key. Once you've found color key, you just want to drag that on top of your footage and using this eyedropper tool, you just want to select the green on the video layer and then use these settings to adjust the strength of the key. Now this will take a little bit of work to get this perfect, but take your time and make sure that this is done correctly. Once you're satisfied with the key though, we can now pull this video layer up onto one of the higher video tracks so we can pull this up to video layer 2 and we can add a video below this layer. So now when we watch this back, you'll notice that the video is playing where the green used to be and I myself am on top of that video layer. And that is the basics of chroma keying in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you.